hello everyone hope you all are doing good and uh, recently i have seen like organizations uh, posting their job description and there they have mentioned like automation engineer as that and uh, 90% of the time the organization interchangeably like use these terms and like this automation engineer and as that's are different thing but uh, like 90% of the people use it in a same way just like we used to do sanity and regression and uh, smoke testing like in the initial phase of the career so like i was not aware of uh, these things at that time but uh, like uh, right now like let's discuss uh, what's the difference between uh, these two terms and uh, like we will try to differentiate uh, both these roles uh, on following parameters okay so automation engineer uh, like uh, is someone who becomes uh, like there is a process that like first you are manual manual by means uh, you have the project understanding and after that like uh, you automate the same thing so if you are able to like automate it using different tools and frameworks so you are called an automation engineer okay and as that role is uh, more first less let's uh, like discuss what it stands for so this is software developer engineer in test so please like uh, focus on this uh, term develop software development so this is more close to dev than qa so this position is more closer to dev and uh, this is more closer to qa but uh, nowadays like in devops uh, everything is uh, like interrelated and there is a cross functional team so there like i have seen uh, people are called as devs okay so like in a simple terms uh, you can say and as that as like 50% developer plus 50% uh, with testing mindset like that's my funda but uh, like i'm not sure whether it is 100% true but this is what it is okay so let's come to the goal goal and responsibilities so the main goal of automation engineer is to like uh, automate uh, the test cases like write down the test cases and uh, automate them and one of the major differences uh, between these two terms uh, is like in, with respect to goal only i would like to explain it to you that uh, like qa works uh, when the build is in qa okay so like let me how do i remove it i don't know okay leave it so first uh, like we have our build in dev then we move, move it to qa then uat then prod okay although these are like in the same environments like these are internals after that uh, some people or used to call it pre prod environment and uh, like this is the this is your production environment okay so once uh, like we have started writing down our code so here as that works at this level so as that uh, has an understanding what the developers are doing and uh, like it is expected that uh, he improves the system at this level so that like uh, no bugs are found uh, in qa environment this is like expected that uh, with respect to development only uh, you find the bugs at this level only so like we don't have to create this iteration of giving it back to dev then they will fix it then they will release a new like uh, 
cycle after that like uh, it is going to retest so we can like save this cycle by uh, finding out early bugs uh, finding out early bugs uh, in the uh, development environment only okay and obviously like uh, in agile or uh, like in waterfall model also the early you will uh, find the bugs it is easier for like it is um, more cost saving okay so this is the difference that uh, sdet uh, work at this level and qa works uh, at this level okay now coming to the responsibility like i have told you the responsibilities that uh, like this is more uh, regarding test and uh, like uh, designing test frameworks and uh, sdet is more in the architecture level like he's expected that uh, he knows uh, how the development code works and uh, he can like uh, build the test frameworks also so this is like covers both of them now coming to the programming skills uh, obviously like uh, a programming skill of an sdet is um, greater than that of automation engineer and like it is expected out of an sdet that uh, he knows how things work and he's like uh, able to write code and all that things and system knowledge again like this concept that uh, an sdet is expected that uh, he knows how the development code is working because as you see that this term again it contains uh, development so he knows what the developers are doing and uh, like he should be in a position to write the unit test cases obviously like an uh, developer also write the unit test cases to test its uh, code at uh, this level again like same is expected out of an sdet and uh, he is also like uh, can write the integration test cases and after that like he is also expected that uh, he knows how the qa framework is working and uh, he can uh, like uh, find out bugs so this is a gray line between uh, both these automation engine and sdets i'm sure like uh, 90 to 95% of the organization use it interchangeably that uh, like an automation engineer is equivalent to sdet but uh, this is not the case so i'm sure like uh, from now on we knows like what's the difference between these two thank you guys uh, and if you have any doubt just comment down below thanks for watching